Okay, hey guys, here I am back again with two oak toads. So, these are my two oak toads. Uh, this is the guy, and that's a girl. Um, you'll notice when they're together that she's a little bigger than him. That's how it is in most of the animal kingdom. Females are about 15% larger than males on average. Uh, they lay the eggs and so forth, so, so she's bigger than him. And uh, they're both trying to run away. Uh, you'll notice she's darker than him. That's just because she was sitting in a dark patch of dirt and he wasn't. So they, they're able to change their color. They can become almost like a, a grayish blue, sort of like he is right now, to a very dark black, uh, or almost black like she is. So let me show you a little closer up. So here's the little guy. As you can see, uh, it's pretty active right now. I've been feeding them pretty well recently, uh, giving them lots of little crickets. And uh, those crickets have been well fed too, so they really like them when they're small. So he, if you see his underbelly, there's all that, that white skin underneath over there. And you'll also notice under his chin, there's a bit of a, uh, it looks like he's got a bit of a double, double chin or something going on. There, you can see that? That's the sac that expands when he croaks. Only this guy doesn't croak, he makes a sound that's more like a chirp. Uh, sounds like a small bird. So, that's the little guy. And here's the female. So here's the female, she's bigger. Uh, she one of the biggest things about her is that, if I can get her to flip upside down, uh, you see the spotted belly she has? <laughs> it's a little hard, hard to get her to cooperate. Um, there, there. So she has a spotted belly. Uh, it doesn't look all nice and white like the little guys does. and. Uh, she has no flap. Oop. She has no flap under her chin. At least no, uh, his is like a deflated balloon. It just looks a bit like a flap. But hers, there's no flap there. So she won't make any noise if you uh, pick her up or if she's being attacked or anything like that. Uh, she doesn't make any noise. Some frog species or toad species I've read about, the females open their, their mouths and they kind of hiss. Uh, I don't know if these oak toads do that, but these little guys are full grown. Uh, I mentioned that in the other video. These guys are full grown, so she's full grown and so is he. Uh, both of them are. And uh, they're really small, so he's trying to make a break for it. Let me get him back. Oops. Right. So, you can see they're really small. And uh, these are the smallest toad species in North America, which makes them really cool. Uh, but there they are, roaming around. And normally if you make a little, little dark space like this, then they'll hide. I like to hide in those dark spaces. Let me put one of them away. Okay, so I got the little guy. So now you can see... Maybe he doesn't like to go back there. When you first take them out, normally they'll go and they'll try and snuggle uh, in your hand to try and get away from you, hide from you in your hands if you make a little opening like that with a roof where they can feel nice and safe. They don't like to be out in the open like this where it's very bright and uh, being seen. The cool thing about these little guys is that they have um, almost all the same bones as us. 
They're just shaped a little differently. They even have hands with fingers. Although their, their hands on the front have only four, their back, their back feet have five toes slash fingers. So these are very nice uh, little pets to have though. And they tend to be very mellow, if shy. And here you might be able to see them a little better. Uh, what they're like when they're when they're together and they're different size. So he's smaller than the second digit on my thumb there. She's a bit bigger than him. And those, those, <laughs> those are the oak toads. 